Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to determine a transfer function of a system using block diagram simplification method. First, let's understand what is transfer function. A transfer function is a mathematical function that relates between the input and the output of the system. In detail, a transfer function for a system is the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output variable to Laplace transform of the input variable under the assumption that all the initial conditions are zero. Basic definition for a transfer function is a mathematical function that represents the relationship which describes the dynamic behavior of the system. However, the transfer function does not provide information about internal structure and also the internal behavior of the system. In example 1, we need to construct the transfer function of a system that was represented by the following differential equation. So here, we need to find what is the relationship between the input and the output of the system. So first, let's define what is the input and the output of the system. Let's consider the input of the system is F, while the output of the system is displacement X. So here we're going to find the relationship between X over F A. So from the differential equation, the assumption for this differential equation is that the initial condition is zero. Therefore, we can separate the output and the input from this equation. So here we have x multiplied with m d square plus c d plus k equal to f a function of t. Therefore, x t over f a t is equal to 1 over m d square plus c d plus k. So from this transfer function, we can see that the transfer function will very much depend on the value of mass, damping coefficient and also spring stiffness. The objective of block diagram simplification is to simplify a block diagram so that we will be able to determine the final transfer function of a system. So in order to do block diagram simplification, we need to understand seven rules in block diagram simplification. The first rule is for series block diagram. If in the block diagram we have two blocks in series, we can simplify that becoming only one block by multiplying the two transfer function together. So after simplification, the block will become 1 and the transfer function will become G1, G2 or G2, G1. The second rule is for parallel feedback block. In this diagram, we can see that there are two blocks in parallel and the direction for the block is feed forward. To simplify this kind of block, we will need to add the two blocks together. After simplification, the two parallel blocks will become only one block and the transfer function will be added together. So we have G1 plus G2. So you can see here the summation point is now gone. The third rule is for parallel feedback block. In this diagram, we can see that there are two blocks in parallel. However, there is a feedback loop in the block diagram. This kind of block diagram is known as a feedback block diagram. To simplify a parallel feedback block, the equation is g over 1 plus gh or 1 minus gh. The sign plus or minus is depend on the sign on the summation point. If the feedback sign is minus, in the equation it will become 
g over 1 plus g h. If the sign at the summation point is plus, the equation will become g over 1 minus g h. So that are the three rules how to simplify a block diagram. However, sometimes before we can simplify a series or a parallel block, we need to move the summation point or a pick off point in order to use rule number one, number two, and number three. So therefore here we have rules number four where we have two types of moving a summation point. The first one is when we move a summation point over a block toward the output. If we are moving a summation point toward the output, then we need to multiply with gain g. And if we move a summation point toward the input, then we need to multiply with 1 over g. That is the rule for moving a summation point. Next, we have a rule for moving a pick off point. Similar to the summation point, we may also need to move a pick off point toward the output. We need to multiply with 1 over g. Then, if we need to move a pick off point toward the input, we need to multiply with g. So, that are the seven rules in block diagram simplification.